question. Can you explain what internet is? Yes, I love technology. Pretty amazing. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Hey guys, Mr. Ogden here. Today I'm going to talk to you about updating your websites. Now this is a highly detailed task. It's going to take a lot of time. So make sure you follow the directions and do exactly what I say so that way your websites are fully updated properly. So step one, you need to watch this tutorial video. Step two, you need to have the following items on each page of your website. So you need to have five different pages on your website. Home, projects, blog, links, and about me. Those are the five pages you need to have. And on your home screen, you need to have your home screen you need to have a title up here. So it should say your first name and your website. You need to have at least two sentences for your welcome message. It's welcoming people to your website. And you, you need to have a header. Okay, a header is basically just a picture at the top of the page. So for example, if you just open up a Google tab and type in header and you go to images, you notice all these headers are very long and, and skinny. These are meant for the top of websites. They're called headers. So you can have your projects that you've done up there. Like for example, on this student, there's a project that uh, this student made. You can have your project up there or you can have any other picture as long as it's school appropriate. So you need to have a title, different picture uh, for a header. You need to have a welcome message, at least two sentences. Then moving on to the next page, projects. So you need to have a title of your website, different picture for the header. You need to have a project slideshow with screenshots of all your projects and any videos that you've also made. So let's start by talking about the screenshots of your project. So if we go to this website and you click on projects, you notice from earlier in the year there's already a little slideshow that's going on from this student. And it's scrolling from one picture to the next of every assignment that this student has done so far. So you're going to add to this and you're also going to add videos that you've made. So to do this you need to go <clears throat> into your website and edit it. So for example, I'm here in mine, I'm going to go to my projects page. And for those of you who have not done this part yet, I'm going to show you. Okay, so on your projects page, you need to have a title and you need to have a picture. And let's drag in a slideshow. So you drag and drop a slideshow over here. And you can do any one of these. I'm just going to do this simple slideshow for now and click continue. And now you need to upload pictures from your computer, but first you have to get the pictures. Now you need to use the snipping tool for this. To use the snipping tool, you slide your finger from the right hand side of the screen and you get the search menu and you click snip tool and then you do a screenshot. Now, how do you find all your projects that you've been doing? Well, you need to open up another Google tab and you should be logged in right here and you're going to click on your nine dots and click on Google Drive right here. This little logo, click on Drive. Now, mine's a little bit different than yours, so I'm going to go to a student's to show you what yours will look like. Okay, so after you click on the nine dots and then click on Drive, then it'll look like this when you log in. You want to double click on Classroom. You want to double click on the period that you're in, so for the student first period. And now here's all the projects that this student has been working on. What I want all you guys to do is to take pictures of the posters and the projects and everything that you've worked on. If it's already a picture, you just need to save it to your desktop. Then you can upload those pictures into your slideshow on your website. So it'll look like this and pictures will scroll from one to the next. So first we need to take a screenshot. So let's open up this holiday poster. Remember, you need to, you need to take pictures of all your assignments and once you open up the snipping tool, you can take a screenshot of your assignment. So I just did a screenshot. Now it, you want to save it to the desktop. And now when you go to your projects page, after you've already dropped in your slideshow, now you can begin to add pictures to your slideshow. So upload photos from your computer. 
And if I go to my desktop, here's my screenshot I just took of that project. And you can click open. Then the file will upload. Once the file is done uploaded, done uploading, you can just press save. And now this picture is in your slideshow. Now, if I were to add more pictures like you guys have, the slideshow will go from one picture to the next, just like this student. And remember, if we have a project that took multiple pages to do, you can do multiple screenshots to fit everything from that assignment in your slideshow. Once you're done with that, you can go back to Google Classroom and you notice that you need to add any other videos that you've made onto your website. So how do you know if you have videos? See, like there's one video down here that this student made. How do you know if you have videos? Well, you go to your YouTube channel and you can click my channel, just like it says right here. Click, go to YouTube and click my channel to add other videos that you've made. So what you do is you just go to YouTube and sign in. So once you're signed into your YouTube account and you notice that you are indeed signed in over here, you just click on my channel and you can look at the videos that you have made. So all these videos, the student can add to their list. We did the Halloween video, we did the Movely video, and uh, some other ones as well. So let's say you wanted to add your Halloween video to your website, you just open it up, click up top and copy the link by holding down control and pressing C. Now if you went back to your website and scroll down and if you dragged a YouTube video right here, this YouTube button, and just drag and drop this. Now when you click on this video, you can click on YouTube right here, YouTube video URL. That's the website. Now you click in the box and hold down control and press V as in Victor to paste it. And then just click off. And there you go. Now the video is in there. So you can add all the other videos from YouTube that you have. If you go back, you can see the other videos. Add all of the ones that you have made so far in my class to your website. So everything on your project's website uh, will be shown. So you have your slideshow going here and then all your videos down here. And you can change the format. If you, wanna, if you want this video to be smaller or bigger, you can go to advanced size and you can you know, do a large video or medium really small, whatever you'd like, as long as you include all your videos. So that's for your projects page. Your blog page is really simple. You need to have a title, different picture for your header, and all your blogs below. Your blog should not be on any other page of your website except for this one. So if you go to your blogs, your blog page, you should have all your blogs on here. They shouldn't be anywhere else. You should have a title, you should have a different picture here for your header. For your links, you need to add the following links to your to your website with pictures to this page. So all these websites that we've used that are uh, listed right here, you need to add. So for example, Cool Math Games. So if you go to your website and go to links, there may be a few links on there already from earlier in the year, and that's totally fine. You need to add more. Well, what do you do? How do you add more? Well, first we need to add an image drag and drop an image <clears throat> and then what we need to do is open up a new Google tab and let's say we're gonna do cool math games because that's our first one <clears throat> on the list you type in cool math games and then what you do is you go to images <clears throat> and you find one of these images let's say it's this one you're going to right click on the image and click save image as save image as and you can save that just to your desktop and now what we do is you open up another tab and you go to cool math games and you actually go to the website now what you can do is something pretty cool we're going to turn that picture into a link so you just copy the link up top hold down control and press C I'm at the cool math games website you go back to your website. Up, let's upload that image from your computer. So go back to the desktop. Let's do the cool math games picture that we just downloaded. And now we're going to click on the picture and click on link. Now what you're going to do is hold down control and press V as in Victor. And this is very important. 
Very, very, very important. Do not forget to check this box. Open link in a new window. This is what you want to check. So when you click on this picture to go to Cool Math Games, it'll open it in a new window. Do not forget to check that box every time under website URL and then click save. And don't forget to click publish. So now if you went to your website after you published it, you can click on your website right there to see what it looks like. If you went to your links page and you click on this picture, voila, it takes us to Cool Math Games. So you'll be doing that same process for every single one of these websites listed here. You need to look up the website, you need to look up pictures for each, and you need to add them onto your links page. Now, you can put them any way you want, <clears throat> any size you want, as long as they're on this page. I don't care what it looks like as long as they're all on there. The last page is your About Me page. You need to have a title, a different picture for a header, at least 10 pictures, three videos, and write 150 words about yourself. So what I mean by that is you need to go to your About Me. You need to have at least 150 words written out. You need at least 10 pictures on this page. You need a header. You need a title. And you need videos. So, for example, you could go to YouTube and drag some YouTube links in here and find some interesting videos that you like that are school appropriate and you can drag and drop them onto your about me page and then you can uh you know add the the youtube url just like we did before all right that's it let me know if you have any questions